about the Jackson State top commit. I'm not sure if you guys seen today, but Jackson State, Brian Deion Hunter. Sanders, he, 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 he brought in the number one overall recruit in um in um out of the high school ranks. I think that's huge for HBCUs, man. It's gonna I, grow. I think it's huge. I think um HBCUs, honestly, Max, Max. <laughs> I think it's I think it's going to I I it I think I think it's a good I think it's a good launching point. Now, will it move the needle for all HBCUs? Probably not. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Before but, you say that, before you say that, that was what we said about Dion getting hired, right? Will that move the needle for all of them? And then who got hired next? Eddie George. Then who just now, got hired? Hugh Jackson. Hugh Jackson. They got Hugh Jackson. Yeah, right. I mean, so, that's true. I mean, it, true. It, it is a bit of, of monkey see, monkey do. Let's bring in this oh, former oh. profession, this former um, <laughs> popular, <laughs> this oh, former man. popular professional football player. But my thing is this: that kid did not commit to Jackson State so much as he committed to Deion Sanders. That could be true. If Deion Sanders hey, was a quarter, not there, and Shorty's a quarterback, too, so, right? let's, so let's just think about it like this. If Deion Sanders decides if Deion Sanders decides to move to a Power 5 conference, does is Jackson State still going to get those same recruits? That is true. But we're talking about we're USC, talking by about, the way. USC, by we're the way. talking about we're talking about moving the needle for all HBCUs, and I just don't think this does that. But that takes time. That's it not going to happen overnight. It's just like that's literally any – that has always happened in the history of college football. But look at how many top athletes to compete to an HBCU. I, I, like we're seeing it now, with, and, and I, th I didn't know that this was happening, you know, on, on – you know, to more than one person. You have you get injured at your HBCU, and though they do not have the means None to treat that. your injury, mm -hmm. and so now you you're Chris your James was talking is, about that. In well, the, yeah, in that's the what happened with Master P's son. That's what happened with Master. But P. It, 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 it happened to I I read in in the pit that it happened with another athlete that he was at an HBCU, he got hurt, and he and they could not treat him, so he left to go to a better school it wasn't a power five school but it was a it was a division one school with better facilities so i think before we start to talk about personalities dr bringing people to hbcus we need to start pouring money how do you get money guys 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 there was a coach across the way who did not have the athletic trainers. So Deion Sanders sent his over there so that they could have athletic trainers. Cause you're having people like Deion who say I'm fully committed, not just here, but to the HBCU system. So I feel that number one, the pit or, or us or whatever is reactionary. Like, you know, we can't, we don't have no type of patience for stuff to happen. Is there is no way that this is gonna change overnight? However, that doesn't mean it can't. Oh okay. no, I think it can. I certainly can think we, it can. Can we can we please talk about the fact that it's like a chicken and the egg, like we've seen? So, first of all, you got Biden cutting funding for HBCUs, period, right? And then HBCUs are already underfunded. Let's not even talk about their sports program, right? How do we get a sports program going without top tier? five-star recruit talent. This is how you do it. You bring in flamboyant Hall of Fame players slash coaches to come in and build a program up and you get Jackson State with Deion Sanders that got the number one podcast in the world, a million dollars worth of game stars coming on the sidelines. You get other athletes coming into the locker room yeah. and that's going to build your program and it's going to do what we've been talking about the whole night bring a spotlight onto that college and now you get the number two recruit that's how we do it that's how we bring money in now you get television spots now you get more jackson state games more hbcu games on espn that's how you do it and that's how you bring in the revenue that's how you bring in the sports and medicine crews that's how we build that's how we build it takes time yeah, yeah. It's the reason. I mean, that's true. That's the reason why we got to watch Butler on on TV on Saturdays because they had a few good years, and now you all all you see is Butler on TV, Butler. and they be and they be hey. trash. 
Butler with the Butler with the back to back um national right. championship. <laughs> exactly <laughs> though. And Butler's, but Butler's facilities are trash because I this seen them. What, hey, but this is what I'm saying though. So it takes time. So like a small program, they get recognition and then they start doing a little something and then now they're going to get money. They're going to get all that HBCU needs, honestly, is, is one game against the ranked team and that'll fund. How much money do they get from one game? All they like one over a hundred that they get like some schools are paying, you know, two hundred and fifty thousand yeah. dollars. Love beats.